Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. In today's video, we will look at a question on projection of lines in which the true length, fan phi, and tau phi angles, that is alpha and beta, are given to us with one end location of the line, whereas the lengths of the fan phi and tau phi are not mentioned. So it's one of the tricky questions for projection of lines. Just watch the video completely in order to have a better understanding. Let's get started. So here is an example on the set question. Line PQ measures 75 mm is in first quadrant. Sand phi and top view of the line makes 45 degrees to XY. And P is 20 mm in front of VP and 30 mm above HP. Draw the projection of line, determine its true inclination with HP and VP, and locate its traces. Let's extract the given data first. The name of the line, line PQ. True length is equal to 75 mm. Alpha and beta both are 45 degrees. End point location of P is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. What is required to be found? Theta, phi, and the trace. So here is a typical solution in which we are going to compare the given data, what is mentioned here in this question. So front phi and top view angles are given to us. The front phi and top view position of endpoint P is also mentioned. So if I put these things here, I have this front phi and top view location of point P. We have the two lengths and we have the angle alpha and beta. Let's draw the solution now. Taking an XY line, vertical project of endpoint P. Now taking the distance 20 mm above HP as mentioned in the question, locating P dash 30 mm below, that is in front of VP and locating endpoint P, that is top view of point P. Taking the angle that is mentioned as 45 degrees and we have to draw the front view and top view lines. So as far as the given data is concerned here, we have used each and everything which is mentioned in the data except the true length. But we cannot take the true length right now because there is no angle or a locus position mentioned. So how to proceed further? So the trick is draw a vertical projector assuming this as your front view length and this as your top view length. So you can randomly draw a vertical projector at a particular distance from the projector of P. Try to keep distance less. Once you do this, you'll find two assumed locus, one in front view, one in top view. So let us name this assumed point as A. So A dash is the assumed front view, A is the assumed top view. Now, if you have this front view, you can go in reverse rotating it, making it parallel to x, y and then projecting it down. By this, you have located the true length. Now, if you compare with this solution, this was the front view. This is being rotated parallel to x, y and it is being projected. So you get the true length. Similarly, we have obtained the true length here. But this is the assumed true length for the assumed front view and top view length. But we have the true length given to us. So now just extend this true length. Take 75 mm in your compass. Keep your compass at here and draw an arc. So this is the point where the actual true length ends. You have to name this point as Q2. Drawing a locus here, locus of Q in top view, and this point is Q. So this is the actual top view P to Q. Now, once we have Q, we can draw a vertical projector, which is going to intersect with this front view line here, and creating another locus, locus of Q in front view, 
this point is Q dash. Now you have to take 75 mm in your compost, keeping at Q dash. Draw an arc on this locus so you can locate the true length here and you have to join it. The name of this point here will be Q1 dash. At the end, you have to make the front view and top view lens duck. Now, the remaining part, the traces. So, you have to extend the front view until it intersects with XY line. This point is called as H. You have to take the second step, draw a vertical projector from H, and then extend the top view backwards until it meets this point. So, this is your horizontal trace. And this top view where it intersects with XY line here is V. Drawing a vertical projector from V and taking the intersection with opposite view, that is front view, this is your vertical trace. Solution. Answers you might find theta and phi equals to 36 degree. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.